Hi, if you do not know me, I'm Ilin Cheng. I'm a mindset coach based in Asia. And in current climate, when things can be a bit faster, I ask, how can I give value? And the idea of a five minute video popped up. So I got my timer on to make sure I don't go beyond five. And also my strength is the ability to cut through information, which is why I want to condense it into bite-sized videos for you. And if the ideas resonate with you, do act on it, apply it. So this is where I can truly give value. So I'd like you to think about, do you know what you really want? It sounds a bit strange, but when I ask, or if you actually ask someone, why do you want to quit? Why do you want to leave the company? The immediate response that you commonly hear is, I don't like my boss, I don't like my colleagues, I don't like the politics. If you notice the answers focus on, I don't like and I don't want. It's not about, I want something. And if you think about when you ask kids, what do they want to be when they grow up? They say, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a pilot. I want to be a policeman. They focus on what they want. So why is it that as we get a bit older, our answers focus on what we don't want? Because as we get a bit older, we start to play it safe. Why? Because we are very concerned about what other people think about us. We might have ideas about what if I have this audacious idea and what if I fail? Just that statement of what if I fail, what kind of feelings does it evoke? What vibes are you giving up? What kind of vibration are you giving up? So this is where I bring in the law of vibration. If you understand the law of vibration, everything moves. And putting it together, the feeling of what if I fail that vibration, incorporating together with the laws of cause and effect, what you give out has to come back. So if you give out the vibration of what if I fail, what's going to come back? Why not for once start to think, what is it that you really want? And here's a simple technique you can use. First, when you start to think about what you really want, write it down and also understand that you might have some fears and concern. So you can also create a list of what if, what if I fail, what if I succeed? Once you put the list side by side, what if I fail, what if I succeed, start to make a decision. Which side do you want to be on? Okay, because you know, in times of booming economy, in times of recession, one thing is constant. There are always rich people, there are always poor people. So as you list down the what ifs, decide which side you want to be on. Okay, so I hope this idea resonates with you and if you like it, go have the exercise, play out on what you really want. And if you like more of such videos, I'll be back here on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday. Till then, I'm Eileen. Bye-bye.